So Arma is a ton of fun. The problem with Arma is that it's 10 years old. And 10-year-old games tend to have drawbacks. And typically, the way around those drawbacks is to research and research and research how to overcome them via Reddit, via YouTube, via Googling, via any way you can. And it can be a bit annoying to figure out. So I want to become a bit of a one-stop shop for getting into Arma. All the way from getting TeamSpeak set up to getting your server set up to learning a, a dedicated server tool and how to set all that stuff up. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's one I'm willing to take. Because Arm is a great game, and it deserves a big player base. And I'm tired of looking everywhere for answers, and I'm sure you are too. So we're going to get into it, and we're going to start with communication. So let's go ahead and jump into how to set up TeamSpeak with TFAR Task Force Radio. Let's go. Also, if you're a bit of an avid watcher of this channel, and you realize my patches are in a clump, over here and one of my rifles are gone uh i'm about to be moving so everything is kind of everywhere and i don't feel like setting all that up we're doing what we can moving on <laughs> all right so one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to go to the team speak website now i want you to be careful uh, i'm going to have the link down below to the correct one but if you just go to team speak downloads you'll see ts5 you don't want TS5, you want TS3, which is more outdated, but accepted by the current Arma mods. So you're going to go to TeamSpeak 3, Client 64-bit, and Download, and it'll start download. Once that downloads, you're going to go to wherever your downloads save, and you're going to run that install file. So next, this window will appear. Uh, welcome to TeamSpeak 3. You're going to press Next. You're going to scroll then through their stuff until you see that little checkbox open up. We're going to keep scrolling... I swear to you, if it's to the bottom, we're going to grab the little bar and just move it to the bottom and then hit accept and then do next. Now install for anyone on the computer or install for just you. I do install for just me. I'm pretty much the only one on here. Pick a folder you want it to go and then do next. Now select location where to store the configuration. You can save in the user's own files or you can save inside the installation folder. We are going to pick save in user own files, which is the recommended and go next. We are not going to install Overwolf. Skip Overwolf, Bloatware, leave it alone, do install. And then you're going to see Run TeamSpeak 3 Client, and we're going to do Finish. Now, something I didn't cover is your first time opening TeamSpeak, you'll probably be asked to make a login for it. Just make a login for it. Um, shouldn't be too hard. It's the same way all logins are made in every application ever. Uh, so just make a login for it and log in and you'll be set. That, it pops up in another window for me, but it's gonna pop up this interface here. Now, real quick, what I want you to do is going to Tools, go to Options, and you're gonna be met with this. And in your add-ons area, you are not going to have Task Force Radio. Uh, it did stay enabled on my device because of the way I installed it. I thought I did it the full way, I didn't. But it's not going to be there for you do not worry. I'm still going to go through how to get that onto your system as a plugin. So bear with me. Also, real quick, while we're in the tools menu, go to your capture and then in capture device, choose whatever your mic is. For me, it's this one right here. It's my Elgato Wave mic in. And also for activation, yours is going to be set to push to talk. Make sure you switch it over to voice activity detection and automatic. Also go to playback just above capture and you're going to see playback device. Set that to whatever your output is. You know, if it's your headphones, if you're using a Wavelink like me and you've got a voice chat channel, send it there. Whatever you've got, that's going to be uh, PC specific. So that's up to you. It kind of just depends. Testing and you can play a test sound system. if you'd like. You should be able to hear it in whatever you've got it set to here. That's all you're going to need to do for now in TeamSpeak. So you can press OK. Make sure you apply all those changes before you close out of the individual windows. And we're going to leave it at this screen. What I want you to do now is open up your Arma launcher. All right, so I have uninstalled the Task Force Radio mod just so I can show you guys how to get that done. So uh, for your system, you shouldn't have it already. If you do, you can kind of skip this step into the next. Go ahead and hit Steam Workshop in the top left if you don't have it already. That should open up a web browser for you, which is the Arma 3 Workshop. And then in Search Arma 3, we're going to type in Task Force Radio, if I can type today. And we're going to kind of look around 
and we're looking for, I love how Arma 3 searches. So a fun thing with Arma, if you're looking for a mod that most people say is popular, check your uh, showings right here. So mine's most popular in one week. We're gonna set that most popular all time. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find Task Force Arrowhead Radio Beta. And then in there, we're gonna find the little plus icon and we're going to hit that plus icon, which should, if we go back to our launcher, start installing it here. Mods were uh, mod task force error head radio beta was installed. So we're going to go down and we're going to find that ignore my 1 billion mods here. And we can see that it is already added as well. Now, once you find it in your launcher, we're going to right click. We're going to do open folder. It's going to tell you, Hey, don't change things. Don't delete things in these folders because it can ruin your mod. Leave them alone. We're going to hit it under. I understand <laughs> which should open up another window for you in a file explorer and it'll already have highlighted the mod you need. We're gonna open up that folder. We're gonna go into our TeamSpeak folder and then you're gonna see this one right here, taskforceradio.ts3 underscore plugin. We're going to double click that to run it. It's going to give you this screen here. And what we're doing is we're adding this as that add-on to TeamSpeak through the mod folder. So we're gonna hit install. You're about to install a plugin for your TeamSpeak. Plugins, stretch the source, and might be scamming you. They're not. Hit yes. Um, mine's going to tell me it failed because it's already on there. Yours will go through the process and succeed. And then once it succeeds, I want you to go back into your TeamSpeak. I want you to go to Tools, Options, Add-ons, scroll down, and make sure that Task Force Arrowhead Radio is there and enabled. If it looks like this where it says Disabled, just enable it. So simple as that. So what we can do is we can go ahead and launch Arma. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to go ahead and connect to whatever server we're a member of or involved in or have a code for. Um, this is going to be specific to whatever group you're a part of. So I can't, you know, let you know what that is. Um, I'm going to be logging into our TeamSpeak server for the unit. I am going to blur it just because we don't want, you know, scammers and bots. However, if you want to become a member of Stack, it's my Milsim unit. We have a ton of fun. We, uh, we take it serious, but we're also lighthearted enough to, you know, let loose. Uh, if you get into the Milsim scene, you'll see some of these guys that are using this as their place to power trip, I guess, because they don't have it in their lives. But, uh, most of these guys we're in right now they're pretty normal. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. So, um, if you want to join stack, I'm going to have the link down below to the application. Don't get worried by the word application. It's just simply a way for me to get to know you and know where you're coming from. So we know how to help you better integrate into Arma, into the team and all that good stuff. So again, links down in the description, check it out, apply. We would love to have you in our operations. So back to it. We have now entered Arma, the game, and we're going to open our TeamSpeak back up. And we're going to, when we're ready to log into our TeamSpeak server, we're going to, in the top left, hit Connections and then Connect. You can also just press Control S and that'll pop up that screen automatically. Again, I am going to blur this uh, just because we don't want griefers and spammers and all that good stuff. So once you're in here, server, nickname, or address, go ahead and put in whatever the IP is for your uh, units password whatever the password is for that unit and then your nickname which should be whatever you go by in game uh, it makes it way easier for people to you know keep track of who's who uh, so once we've got that set up we're going to hit connect but that should launch you into your server uh, simple as that so let's go ahead and get into the server to make sure TeamSpeak is working now if you're like me and you got a little bit of the social anxiety i don't blame you and you kind of want to make sure this stuff works before you even get into a mission fair enough i totally understand so what we're going to do is we're going to go to single player and we're going to go down to editor. You may have it in this general area. I do not, uh, but single player and then scroll down to editor and open. You're going to find a map, whatever one doesn't matter. And you're going to hit continue. So once we're in a editor, we're going to go to our people here. So we're going to grab a, whichever unit you have over in the blue, uh, you're going to go to F1 blue four, grab amp a person doesn't matter who, put them down and we're going to hit up in the top left. We're going to do play, play in multiplayer. You're going to hit with this screen where you can set it up, set it up for land. That way you ain't got to worry about a password, set it up for land, name it, whatever you want. And then in the bottom right hit. Okay. The reason we have to join it that way is because if you join it, like if you play the scenario in single player, TFAR won't work. Uh, TeamSpeak radio won't work. So just do it this way. Hit. Okay. All right. Then we're in. So we're going to hit continue. 
and all this stuff as far as like actually joining the servers and things. I'm going to have videos on that as well. I feel like TeamSpeak is just one that's always kind of a complication for some. And I feel like it's because it's such an outdated thing, it needs the most guidance for people. So that's why I started with this. But we're going to have way more guide, guides and stuff coming out in the future. Uh, so now we're in here. Uh, I want you to go ahead and press Escape, Configure, Controls. And then you're going to hit, be hit with this screen where you can change your hotkeys and stuff. But in the bottom middle-ish here, I want you to hit configure add-ons. I want you to hit this drop down here and then scroll down to TFAR. Now in here is all of your settings for TFAR. Switching to your channels on your number pad. Uh, you can change this to your heart's content. Uh, but what I want you to find is uh, short range transmit, SR transmit, and LR transmit, which is long range. And those are going to be whatever keys you want to make them. Me, I've got foot pedals, so I keep them short range on my right, long range on my left. Um, but make those whatever you want them to be. I know a lot of guys use caps lock for their short range and like uh, I think left control caps lock for their long range. Um, again, totally up to you. Just make sure it is what you need it to be. And once you've got it, press OK. And then we're going to press down on our pedal, whatever we've got. And you can see down in the bottom right of the screen, I'm transmitting, transmitted, transmitted, transmitting as I press it. So that means it is totally set up. Now we also need to check our long range, which I should have thought of this, but we're gonna go back into the editor. <laughs> well, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to Ace Arsenal. We're gonna go to our backpack and whatever mod you've got that has long range radios, uh, kind of depends on what mod you're running. I'll put some mods below that do have long range radios on them. I'll put those down below uh, just to help you out. Uh, Western Dust Delta Bag, that's the one I use a lot. So we're going to go back through the process. Bottom right, now that we're in a multiplayer, we've started that. Now it'll stay that. So we can do play scenario, play in multiplayer in the bottom left here. And here we are. So now we're going to, now that we have that backpack with the radio, we're going to hit our long range transmit button and now we can see in the bottom left radio frequency channel one that means we're transmitting long range boom short range long range short range so that means we've got everything set up so now you should be good to go as long as your mic's on as long as your hotkeys are working you jump into another server they'll be able to hear you all right so real quick also uh how to change things in uh, TFAR in the game. Uh, I've never changed this keybind, so it should be the same for you. If I do left control and P, that will bring up the short range radio. And from here, I can, you know, left click and highlight and change it to whatever it is, and then do set frequency. You can also clear the frequency and just type it in. Um, there's different things here, next channel, previous channel. You can also set your speakers. So you see in the bottom right, it's changing there where it's like out loud your radio or if it's headphones. Uh, you can also change the stereo settings where you hear the comms from your left, right ear, or both. Um, really cool additions, uh, really cool stuff. You can also decrease in, uh, decrease or increase volume up top here. And that's all of your options for the uh, LP Harris. Some of the different radios will have a... Uh, separate piece you have to attach in order to change the channels. Uh, it's like a programmer. But most servers are just going to run the Hapis here, uh, the Harris or whatever. Um, you should be good. If you get into a server that does the other stuff, ask around. I'm not 100% sure. Never really messed with it. Um, but they should be willing to help you out. And if they're not, leave that server and come join Stack because they're a bunch of jerks. <laughs> so to exit that screen, you just press Escape. And to open the long range, you're going to do Left Alt and P, and that will bring it up. And again, we can do the same thing here. Highlight, three zero, set. And now when I transmit on long range, you'll see, whoa. And now when I transmit on long range, you can see that it's 30. And when I transmit on a short range, you can see it's 150. So you should be set up at this point. You should have TeamSpeak downloaded your settings all right. You should have your plugins installed. You should have it all set to go, but, but, if you run through all that stuff and something still isn't right, then jump down in the comments. Let me know what you got going on. I'll be jumping in here and there to help you guys out. Um, again, Arma is a fantastic game. It's just got a very steep learning curve, and some of it can get pretty technical. So that's what I want to be here for you guys for. I want you guys to enjoy this game in the easiest way possible, and I think part of that is me making some of these videos for you guys. So 
If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And in the meantime, please consider joining Stack. We would love to have you, and please be safe. Stay happy, and peace out.